welcome to the class students human circulation system in last uh, class also we have uh, studied a little bit at that time student part was uh, less and the topic was a little bit cross match that means uh, cross that means uh, in some topic we discuss which is not given in our topic also now according to our topic according to our syllabus let's move forward uh, at first, human circulation system. What is this? Uh, in human hearts, uh, in human blood circulation system, uh, mainly three uh, parts are there. Three uh, organs are there. Mainly heart, and uh, heart pumps blood, and uh, blood is circulated through blood vessels. Therefore, three parts: heart, blood vessels, and blood. And uh, heart is the ma major uh, organ for the circulation of blood in our body. And uh, we can define circulatory system, that system which consists of heart, blood vessel, and blood. The system of heart, blood vessel, and blood is called blood circulatory system. System means the group of organs, okay, group of organs. And by the uh, circulation, uh, it delivers nutrients and other essential materials to our body and especially to the cells, and which is absorbed by the blood from elementary canal. And blood also helps to excrete waste material from the body. Waste materials are excreted out in two forms. One is in solid form and another is liquid form. Liquid form is excreted through uh, kidney. Blood carries waste materials up to kidney and after filtration by kidney, it is uh, thrown outside in the form of urine. And another solid material, Solid materials are thrown outside by liver and uh, it is collected in large intestine, big intestine that is called uh, rectum and from rectum we throw out waste materials in the form of uh, waste solid materials in the form of stool and other uh, waste products are uh, sweat, uh, uh, saliva also, sweat, uh, carbon dioxide gas, these are also thrown outside and that is also collected by blood, okay? Uh, what is blood? Blood is a fluid. Fluid means between liquid and solid. That structure is fluid and it is connective tissue, connective, which connects uh, two tissues. Blood connects two tissues, therefore it is also called connective tissue. Color of the uh, pure blood is bright red. Pure means oxygen uh, centered. Uh, high concentration, uh, concentration of oxygen is there, that is called uh, pure blood and that is bright red in color. If the oxygen level is down, then the color of the blood becomes uh, purple is that means dark red that is less amount of oxygen is there then blood blood is opaque cannot pass the light it is sticky also in nature blood is sticky and viscous viscous, viscous means fluid character viscous means fluid character and viscosity Value is 4.7 in a normal blood, non-diseased blood. 4.7 is the viscosity uh, parameter and it is slightly heavier than water. Blood dips in water because it is heavier. Taste is salty. Taste is salty. It has salt concentration. And it is alkaline, okay, alkaline, not acidic. Blood is alkaline. pH value is 
थ्री सिक्स मोर देन सेवेन दैट इज अल्कालाइन बेस नॉट एसिड इन वन एडल्ट पर्सन in one adult person we have 6.8 liters of blood all total all total 6.8 liters of blood is there in one adult human body and in the blood 6 to 8% of the body weight is there that means uh, if the body weight is 100 kg then uh, blood weight becomes 6 to 8 kg If the body weight is hundred kg, then the blood weight becomes six to eight kg. Okay, and study of blood is called hematology. Hema, H A E M A. Hema is related with iron. In blood, there is iron concentration. Therefore, uh, the name comes from iron, and its name is hematology. It is the logy. Logy is the study. Okay, L O G Y. In science. in any terminology at last if there is logy it means study of study of the previous uh, word hematology study of blood is hematology mainly in blood there are mainly two parts one is blood plasma and another is blood corpuscles corpuscles means blood cells blood cells are 45% and blood plasma is 55% plasma is uh, liquid portion of the blood liquid portion is uh, plasma and the granular portion is blood cells and the color of the plasma is yellow when uh, uh, we observe the blood it looks red we cannot distinguish between plasma and uh, plasma and blood cells it looks red but if we collect blood and uh, give uh, to settle for few minutes at the top of the blood cells we can see there are a kind of liquid part that liquid part is plasma plasma is Fifty-five percent and blood cells are forty-five percent. Then, fifty-five percent of the blood is straw colored. Straw means uh, faint yellow color. That is plasma and uh, uh, and uh, that is alkaline uh, in structure. Yeah, so, in uh, chemically, it is alkaline, not acid, and. Ninety to ninety-two percent, around ninety-two percent is water, and eight to ten percent is dissolved materials. In plasma, also ninety percent to ninety percent, ninety-two percent is water, and eight to ten percent is suspended dissolved material. And by that dissolved material, its color is determined. Okay. and uh, different nutrients are also dissolved in uh, plasma that is glucose amino acids fatty acids yeah. glycerol any type of minerals any type of nutrients vitamins all are dissolved in uh, plasma okay 55% of the blood is plasma and uh, in plasma also Uh, around ninety two percent water and around eight uh, percent to eight to ten percent is dissolved material. But in uh, structurally, blood cells are three types. One is red blood cell. Erythrocytes means red blood cells. Okay, erythrocytes means red blood cells. This is R B C. R B C red blood cell and its structure is circular. You, in the picture you can see here, circular structure is there. Bi concave. Bi means from two sides it is concave. You can see here in the picture. Uh, in the picture you can see here. Uh, this part is depressed, depressed, and from the back side also that is depressed. 
same as for front side by two side from two sides it is depressed that is by concave and it has no nucleus no nucleus and its size is diameter is 7.2 micro meter to uh, 7.2 micrometer and thickness is two uh, around two micrometer seven is diameter and thickness is uh, seven is diameter and thickness is uh, two millimeter around okay uh, in this way uh, this is thickness uh, diameter is seven uh, micrometer around and thickness is around two micrometer this is and its life span is uh, about 120 days for healthy blood one uh, rbc can uh, live for 120 days this is about red blood cells rbc then its character is character is transport of respiratory gases due to red blood cell uh, due to red blood cell oxygen is absorbed it has iron uh, element in red blood cell there is iron element due to iron iron absorbs oxygen gas and it helps to uh, transport oxygen gas and it maintains the ph value it maintains rbc maintains the ph value of the blood and here is for that in rbc there is hemoglobin hemoglobin is the one pigment found in rbc hemoglobin determines the ph value of the blood and it also maintains the viscosity of the blood viscosity means how heavy is the blood how dense is the blood viscosity how heavy is the blood that is also determined by red blood cell because there is iron okay this is the main function of rbc then white blood cell white blood cell is white that means colorless like water color and uh, it has a nucleus. Its structure is amoeba shape. That means uh, shape is slightly changing, circular or amoeboid and phagocytic. Phagocytic means fights with disease, fights with germs. Phagocytic means fights with germs. In the body, if bacteria or virus is attacked, then uh, immune system in the body is determined by WBC, white blood cell, that is immune system. By that, uh, white blood cell fights against the uh, bacteria or virus attack in the body. And these can easily pass through the blood vessels because because they have uh, they have uh, change of shape uh, capacity they have the capacity to change the shape from a small hole also a small hole also they make their uh, front part small and uh, it enters inside like a balloon like a balloon it can contract and uh, in our body, in our body, in normal condition, blood count is, sorry, WBC count is 4,000 to 11,000 per cubic millimeter. It is the normal condition of the uh, body. Uh, if the number is less or more, it may, uh, makes us uh, unhealthy. Okay, and life span of the WBC is uh, four days. Within four days, blood, white blood cells will 
uh, die, cannot uh, live more. And if WBC is high in number in the body, that means uh, maximum limit is 11,000, then if it increased, if it increased uh, 12,000, then it causes one disease that's name is leukemia. Leukemia is a disease which is due to uh, high number of WBC. And it is produced in bone marrow, bone marrow. Okay, an increase of WBC causes cancer, blood cancer. Increase of uh, WBC causes blood cancer, okay? And it, it is uh, produced in bone marrow. Bone marrow means in junction of the two bone. Uh, for example, in leg bone, in leg bone, uh, this is one piece of bone and, and another piece of bone is this one. Uh, another piece of bone is this. Then uh, between these two junction, there is one big swollen part, and that is called that is called the joint is called uh, big, and this joint is called bone marrow. Inside bone marrow, uh, WBC is produced. It is the army of the body which fights against the uh, disease. WBC is the uh, security, okay, security system of the body. Third type of blood cell is platelets. Platelets, you can see in the picture, platelets have many hands, many finger-like projections. Due to these uh, pro property, plat platelets help to clot the blood. To clot. Clot means when it comes blood out from the wound, after a few seconds, it will change into solid. That phenomenon, that uh, process is clotting. And it is, it has no nucleus. Platelets also has no nucleus. It is the smallest uh, blood cell in the blood. It is the smallest uh, in size. And uh, platelets number is increased. Sorry, uh, if the platelets number is decreased, then blood clotting is not uh, success, uh, uh, succeeded. Then what happens? Uh, over bleeding causes the death of the patient. There is one disease from the nose, from the nostril, it bleeds out. And if the platelets number is very less, then bleeding is continuous and due to the loss of blood, heavy blood, uh, patient will die. Therefore, uh, patient should be treated uh, emergency. Then uh, by the over injury, by the over injury, uh, platelets also cannot clot the blood. For small wound, platelets can stop bleeding by clotting. If the wound is very big, clotting is unsuccessful. For that condition also, uh, emergency treatment must be done. Okay, in this way, mainly three types of cells are there in blood. Collectively, collectively, blood has the following functions. One is distribution. Distribution means distribution of uh, distribution of uh, enzyme, sorry uh, nutrients, minerals, etc., which is absorbed by, from the elementary canal and to all parts of the body. Blood distributes energy. Another transport that means. From the glands in our body, there are many glands: thyroid glands, pituitary glands, uh, liver is itself a gland, uh, and then uh, gastric glands are present in stomach. From those all uh, glands, different hormones are produced. Different hormones are produced, and from the respiration, uh, respiratory gases are. 
produced or absorbed carbon dioxide gas is produced oxygen gas is absorbed and that is to be transported to different parts of the body and therefore in the case of these it is called transportation then production of antibio antibodies antibodies means to produce uh, uh, produced in response to foreign substances which enters the body. If we uh, use uh, unhygienic food, then from that unhygienic food, different uh, bacteria or viruses or any uh, elements which are harmful to the body, they are also entered in the body and our blood uh, starts to fight against those uh, harmful uh, substances. That uh, attitude, that phenomenon is called antibody. Antibody, antibody is uh, produced by WBC. Okay. Another function of the blood is keep the body temperature uh, same keep the body temperature constant. Our normal body temperature is 97 degree Fahrenheit. In winter season, in summer season, in all seasons, our body temperature remains same. That is due to blood and this is, this is called thermoregulation. Thermo means temperature. Another function of the blood is prevention of the water loss. If we don't drink water for long hour, we don't feel urination because blood protects uh, water loss. If it is more for the blood, only at that condition, water is uh, wasted out. But if the water level is down in the body for long time, at that time, blood prevents water loss by stopping the formation of urine. Protection. When it becomes injured, injured or if we cut our uh, muscle, our leg, hand, etc. At that time, it protects our blood flow by clotting. But that is clot is done by platelets. Blood clotting is done by platelets. Therefore, protection is also uh, one function of blood. Another is phagocytosis. Phagocytosis means uh, to fight against uh, disease. That is also done by WBC and this is called phagocytosis. And last one is osmotic balance. That means protein, minerals, and uh, these are uh, present in plasma. And, and uh, due by this, our blood pressure is balanced. Blood pressure is balanced. That is uh, osmotic balance. तिमी हर लाई यो टॉम और याद करने सकते हो बने टॉम बने याद करने सकते हैं ना बने देखी ये भीतर वाईगा कुरा आरु बनने आई ब्लॉड को काम के क्यों बंदा कह रहे थे नहीं टॉम और आए ना बने देखी पॉइंट पॉइंट मस्ट सेंटेंस सेंटेंस में कुरा ही कदी आऊँ जा तेरी चार ओरा पांच ओरा याद करे पुक्सा आई दि� Blood clotting is uh, caused by platelets. And when we injured, then, uh, then cells release substances that attract the platelets. From the cord part, platelets are collected and that gather at the, uh, at, uh, the wound and stick to the injured. Katiyogo dui bhag unja, katiyogo bhag ma प्लेटलेट्स आए रह जम्मा उनसा र दुई तक आती है को टिश्यू लाई ले जोड़ने काम कर सा लाइट और गॉम दिस इज क्लॉटिंग नाउ 
uh, after blood, blood vessels. In our uh, body, in our heart, there are three types of blood vessels are there. One is artery, uh, second is veins, and the last one is uh, capillaries. Arteries, arteries, veins, and capillaries. You can see in the picture, red is artery, blue is vein, and the junction between artery and vein is accompanied by a network of very thin uh, structure that is capillary. Network of thin thread-like structure is uh, developed in between artery and vein. That is called capillaries. Okay. Uh, artery collect oxygenated blood. Therefore, its color is bright red. Veins collect uh, deoxygenated blood. When blood returns back from different organs, different parts of the body, except lungs, then that veins are deox that veins are uh, have deoxygenated blood, and its color is denoted by blue color. And in between artery and vein, there is one network of fine structure, thread-like structure, uh, network is there, that is called capillary. In this way, three types of blood cells, blood vessels are there in our body. At first, heart. Heart is present in thoracic cavity. Thoracic cavity means in chest cavity. Heart is present in thoracic cavity, thoracic. Thoracic means chest cavity. And uh, enclosing the lungs, that means uh, pleura enclosing the lungs. That means lungs partly covers the, lungs partly covers the heart. You can see, look here, uh, in two sides, there is big structure that is called lungs. And these lungs, uh, cover the uh, cover the uh, heart from two sides. That is called uh, pleura enclosing. Just it is uh, uh, situated outside of the heart. One uh, lung is right side, another lung is left side. Not uh, closely touching the heart. Okay, that is called pleura enclosing. And and uh, position of the heart is not straight vertical, not straight vertical. It is semi uh, slipping, slanting. You can see here, you can see here, heart is not uh, straight of straight of side. This is uh, slanting in this way, slanting. Not straight of side, not, not straight of side. It is uh, slanting. That is the position of heart. And then, uh, look here, in the picture, two crosses are here, two crosses. Position of the heart is in this way. Uh, here is, you can see here uh, our uh, thoracic, thoracic chamber. Thoracic chamber means corong, ribs, bones are here, and heart is situated here, and uh, heart can be cut into four parts uh, by two lines. Okay, we'll discuss later on that. And it is protected by the uh, thoracic chamber, that is a ribs bone. Inside body, there is a ribs, corong, by that ribs bone, heart is protected. And weight of the heart is, uh, in male, uh, it is 300 gram, and in female, it is 250 gram. In female, the heart weight is less, 250 gram only. And in male body, the heart is 300 gram. By this weight, it is considered that, uh, it is considered that 
uh, humans uh, males are more uh, stronger than uh, girls it is considered okay by bone it is protected okay look here in the picture now different parts of the horse must be uh, understood by heart look here it is external structure external st structure is shown here uh, this part upper part is upper two parts are uh, from here we can cut one line section yes and from here also yes okay it's already cut here from here it is cut yes then uh, upper two parts are auricles this is uh, one auricle another is an auricle for single it is called atrium below two chambers are big chambers are here this is ventricle another ventricle is there left side part is left ventricle right side part is right ventricle in right auricle look here in right auricle in right auricle in right auricle from uh, below one big vein is connected big vein is connected from here yes this one from above another vein is connected these two veins are connected and and these two veins collect blood from different parts of the body upper vein is called superior vena cava and uh, below vein is called inferior upper is superior vena cava this is superior vena cava and below is inferior vena cava superior vena cava collects blood from above the body above the body that means uh, above the heart from upper part of the body blood is collected from superior vena cava and inferior vena cava collects blood from the body parts below the heart from the lower part of the body heart is collected by uh, inferior vena cava these two both vena cava collects impure blood impure oxygen is already finished therefore carbo carbon dioxide is more oxygen is less there and that uh, that blood is called that blood is called uh, impure blood and that impure blood is collected in a right auricle okay in right auricle okay so if the uh, time is over then uh, if you don't have another uh, classes just now just now then you will rejoin okay for few times few minutes one minute is showing here uh, these two veins collect impure blood and in uh, right auricle in right auricle pulmonary vein is connected here is right auricle right auricle uh, is connected with pulmonary vein pulmonary vein means vein from lungs pulmonary means uh, related to lungs from lungs vein is coming here and that vein collects blood to the right auricle and that is uh, oxygenated blood that is oxygenated blood it is pure blood okay again the review in right auricle pure blood is collected by superior 